So Buck and the Preacher is our Caribbean classic of the hour. And it's a few firsts. It's uh, the first film to be directed by Sidney Poitier. It's one of our first really black westerns. And it was also the first film on record to premiere in the Caribbean. It premiered in the Bahamas in 1972. And I have to say, man, before there was Django Unchained, there was Buck and the Preacher. So Buck and the Preacher stars Sir Sidney Poitier and Harry Belafonte. Buck is Sir Sidney and Harry Belafonte is the preacher. They happen upon each other while Sir Sidney is the uh, wagon master trying to free some former slaves from actual slavery because they're basically fighting against night riders who want the slaves to remain slaves in Louisiana. It was straight, good, evil. He, he brought something that made it a little on the gray side, something that brought a spark to the proceedings than just the by the numbers Western. And then there was Ruby Dee who was so beautiful <laughs> and her talent in the role, it made you feel for Buck because you saw what she felt for him. What reminded me, what it reminded me most when it comes to God Loves the Fighter is the fact that there was this seediness that it showed but it also showed that within this darkness, there's a light. And if you just find that light within yourself and the strength to bring that light forth, you can escape the confines of your surroundings. Buck and the Preacher is very important. Um, what you see is this attempt to um, expand on Sir Sidney Poitier's um, success as a Western star. He did Duel and Diablo, and he was so excellent and uh, so well received. Of course, it's incredibly important in terms of black representation because uh, you have two great black icons that not only stand for you know the place of the uh, black actor in Hollywood, which was very important, but also they were both cultural figures that cared very much about um, black civil rights. From a Caribbean perspective, it's also incredibly important because we also have these two great Caribbean actors doing a Western film. And Westerns were some of the main uh, genres that were introduced in Caribbean cinemas when Caribbean cinemas first started. Will you get him out of my house? I got my reputation to think of. <laughs> My favorite Poitier film? Well, it changes from time to time. Was Mr. Right about now, in it's in the heat last night of the night. Well, for me, my favorite Sidney Poitier film is the one where you get to see him do a little dance. <laughs> that film is To Serve With Love, which in all honesty is, for me at the time when I saw it, it just made me see the, the promise that he had with him and that I could be someone like that if I just believed in myself. To serve with love. Reason being is because I realize now knowing myself, I'm a little bit of a, a sucker, if you will, for the film or the story that shows a transformation um, or that basically demonstrates no. the, yeah. the changing yes. of a mindset. My favorite Poitier film, or Poitier, <laughs> is um, No Way Out. I love No Way Out for a number of very important reasons. I love it because I think he's excellent. Um, I love the character and I love the idea of this, the strong ethos that is connected to this black doctor and uh, his defense of that ethos even in the face of all of the racism.